If you are a really big fan of Stranger Things, you will definitely be a fan of Eleven, a teenage girl who has psychokinetic abilities and was used as an experiment at Hawkins National Laboratory. until an incident occurred which caused a hole to open from the monster dimension to the human dimension. The Eleven character is played beautifully by Millie Bobby Brown. Thanks to this role, Millie Bobby Brown received a number of awards at various events, ranging from Best Actor and Best Performance at the MTV Movie and TV Awards. And the best performance in a show is... Millie Bobby Brown, Stranger Things. <laughs> for your support and to all my fans. I really wish I could be there with you all to receive this award. Nominations for Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Drama Series in the SAG Award winner and Emmy nominations at the age of 13 in the category of Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. But do you know if Millie Brown has been in the acting world since she's very young? Curious who the cast and crew of Stranger Things are closest to Millie? Relax. In this video, we've summarized the facts about L, short for Eleven, aka Millie Bobby Brown. So, let's watch it together. Close your eyes, get some sleep. It could still be a while. Do you think I heard her? No, no. Ruby, you did everything right. You don't know that. How is she? She's fine. Ruby, your mom is gonna be fine. Really? She started her acting career at the age of nine. That's cute. Millie Bobby Brown was born in Marbella, Spain, to parents of English descent. They moved back to England when Millie was four years old, and then moved to Orlando when little Millie wanted to take a performing arts class. They don't. Yeah. Um, I was born in Spain and then I moved. Of course, well, why not? Right. Of course, why not? Spain. Spain. Oh, um, anyway. Um, and then I moved to London when I was uh, when I was four years old. If we look at it now, you might think that Millie could easily achieve her success in Hollywood, but the truth, not at all. In order to realize Millie's dream to become an actress, her parents are willing to sell all of their assets in Orlando to move to Los Angeles. Three months after she and her family moved to LA, Millie got the chance to play in a well-known series such as Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, America's Intruders, NCIS, Modern Family, and Grey's Anatomy. And he wanted to take my hat and then like... Is that really you? Who else would I be? You were gone for a very long time. We saw you. You thought I was what? Dead. Even so, it turned out that it wasn't enough for her and her family to survive in Los Angeles. Reported by the Daily Mail, Millie talked about how she and her family survived in the city where the entertainment industry is located. It was a pretty rough period, lots of tears at that time, Millie said in an interview. In fact, in order to survive in LA, Millie's family had to borrow money from Millie's manager. Until finally, seeing her career stagnate in Los Angeles, her family running out of money to survive there, Millie Bobby Brown and her family finally gave up and returned to England. And then we went back to London because we, I mean, we didn't, we didn't, I didn't get any jobs or anything. So we went back to London and that's when I got the audition tape for Stranger So you had to come. Because they ran out of money in the US, Millie and her family decided to stay with her aunt. I was devastated. I didn't make it. I thought I was finished, she recalled. For Children's Day, UNICEF is calling on kids and adults everywhere to go blue in support of children's rights. By going blue and signing our petition, you're telling the world that you believe in a brighter future for kids and helping UNICEF make that future a reality. Included in Time 100 list of influential people and became the youngest UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. My, in, in my work as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, like you, I'm in this for the long haul. 
In 2016, when I was 12 years old, I took part in the UNICEF 70th anniversary celebrations here at the UN. I'll never forget. In 2018, right at the moment of World Children's Day, Millie was announced as the youngest UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. Eileen, on behalf of the UNICEF family all around the world, thank you so much for your commitment, and I am extremely proud to be appointing you today UNICEF youngest ever Goodwill Ambassador. The floor is yours. She uses her platform to raise awareness about the importance of child's rights and issues affecting young people, such as lack of access to education, safe places to play and learn, and the effects of violence, bullying, and poverty. Not only that, Millie was also included in the Time 100 list of influential people released by Time magazine in 2018. She's the youngest person ever on that list. Other notable figures on that list include Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and rapper Cardi B. We stand, our girl. She released a beauty brand called Florence by Mills. In August 2019, Millie released a beauty brand, which she named Florence by Mills. As a public figure, Millie often finds it difficult to find makeup and skincare that is suitable for the skin of teenagers like herself. For this reason, Florence by Mills is specifically intended for teens who want to look beautiful and healthy. Florence by Mills is very safe because it's dermatologist tested, sulfate free, paraben free, cruelty free, and vegan. Apart from that, the products are also suitable for all skin types. Cut her hair in the first season of Stranger Things. When Millie got the role as 11, her mother had doubts because Millie had to shave her hair. However, in her interview with Variety, Millie admitted that when her hair was cut off, she felt very empowered. When I have hair, I can hide my face in the strands of my hair. But when my hair was completely trimmed, I looked in the mirror and realized that my face was the only focus of attention. Shaving your head is so empowering. You are beautiful with or without hair. It doesn't matter, said Millie. On the set, Millie is very close to Sarah Hinsgall, the head crew of Stranger Things' hair department, who cut her hair out in the first season of Stranger Things. She even had time to upload a photo with Sarah and called her her second mother. In addition, Millie is also very familiar with Noah Schnapp, who plays Will in this series. She and Noah are peers who often do activities together. In addition, Millie also considers Finn Wolfhard as an advisor, Gatin Matarazzo as entertainer, and Caleb McLullen, who is two and a half years older than her, as protective older brother. Pretty exciting, huh? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wants to live normally. Seeing Millie is now successful, famous, and has many fans. However, like parents in general, Robert and Kelly still want to see their children live like children their own age. It's very important for Millie not to live under pressure, said Robert. You know, she's still a kid. She has to keep doing her assignments and homework. Everything she's been going through now is a bonus from what we've been fighting for, concluded her father.